talking pre-match and then they just go into something different. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's like they do actually play the character and then they just go to somebody else for a specific matchup, but you still right. look like silly. You still look even like an even idiot. though you got it right. Like, like you're an idiot. Like you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and you know what? So what do we have coming up in the next coming months? We have. FSM 100 or 200 coming up in a, a couple weeks. Yeah. We have Switch Fest coming up next month, or I believe it's like August 31st. I Something around there. there. Yeah. So yet again, today is the final day to register and get that early bird registration. You know, after today, it'll cost an extra ten dollars to attend. Yeah. So for sure, if you know you want to go to that, then just go ahead and take that discount. Right. I mean, I understand like a month is a lot hard to plan ahead yeah. of time, and I know a lot of works. You know that. Like, say, like, hey, you know what? Either put in your job ahead of time. Like, a month is definitely enough time for most jobs to be yeah. like, if you want to take this day off, let us know ahead of time so that we can work around the schedule. And that, that's that's all you got to do for the most part. If you want to go to stuff, you just got to communicate that you want to go. Yeah. And, like, most places that are not just, like, total scumbags will, like, try to work with you and, like, help you out. Yeah, generally, but if you got two weeks in there, yeah. most places are good with it. Here we go. We have Snake versus Captain Falcon. Right. Now, I believe you're familiar with this character, are you yeah. not? I love Snake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is actually like a pretty interesting matchup for uh, Falcon. Like he's got a lot of damage he can get off of grabs on Snake, and like grenade pull is still very good against Falcon. But like the juggle game that Falcon can do on Snake makes this a pretty even matchup, honestly. I can definitely see that. You know, a lot of grenades. Like yet again, you're not going to get those extended combos because of frame one grenade pull, but. I mean, once you get Snake off stage, yeah. it's so hard for him to deal with it. Ooh, if Snake has to cipher or he has to deal with that situation, it becomes super hard for him. Right. Wow, really aggressive forward there, but he gets punished for it yet again. No, not enough hit stun on that move to make it worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not landing with forward air, it has so much lag in the air, and then you're stuck with Snake Drift, which is like the worst in the game. Ooh, and up air knee. I mean, Root is just tearing this man apart right mm -hmm. now. Ooh, good stuff out with the with the back air, and here we go. Yet again, not really baiting out any of the options from Captain Falcon here. Here we go with the grab, and then, oh, try going for raw back air, but unfortunately getting DIN to avoid that. That's kind of like one of those like cardinal sins I imagine from uh, Captain Falcon is that you almost never want to DIN on any of his things. Uh, yeah, generally not. <laughs> That's. It's like people are expecting the knee; they want to DIN so they don't die as early, but then they just get up aired a bunch of times. And it's been like the worst thing to do ever since, like pretty much always, every game. Oh, I know. Honestly, like I, the second I saw him get sticky, I'm just like, you know what, are you gonna pull it? Ooh, <laughs> hold on a second. What was that, DI, I, my friend? I, he had to, he had to have been expecting an up air, you know. But even then, it's I mean, even just, then, there's so much hit stun that like you can yeah. get hit by that and be like, okay, I <laughs> yeah. need a DIN and like not die. But that that, that was some potato DI right there. Sure. Like, ugh. Yeah, honestly, uh, not super surprising. Uh, one, to see the switch, and two, to see, like, Falcon do well against Snake at the local level. Right. It's very easy to get combos on Snake when they're not, like, top level having perfect DI, knowing when to pull the grenades exactly. Right, and, like, and actually setting up traps effectively, yeah. you know, zoning. It's, it can be very hard for Snake, honestly, at, at locals. This is the first time I've seen Lila. This is not legal here. Yeah, this, this is, is gentleman's agreement, I guess. I, I guess. I mean, we're not going to complain. Yeah, it's fine. Stage is honestly, you know, it's whatever. I prefer the Yoshi's Brawl personally. I mean, yeah, I would definitely have this over a real Yoshi's Brawl any day of the week. But, you know what? Uh, air dodge off stage and not going to punish it, though. And, I mean, already Stratos is doing amazingly better. Yeah, and Joker does a much better job of controlling neutral versus talk in that Rebels guard. Ooh, I mean, Once he he's off stage, like he has to hold that, and then Rouge is just ready. All right. We have there to up air. No one reading the double jump for the there, but not going to find it. Gets forward smash, and here's the edge guard. Yet again, I like that baiting Oops. the high option yeah. and going for the forward smash when you try to re grab the ledge. Yeah, he made it look like he was going to go for down guns, which means that Falcon's going to want to immediately up B, and he just covered that. Right. So it's actually really smart by him. Ooh, yet again, missing the ledge, and that's going to prove costly, and thankfully avoids the knee right there at the end. And again, I would imagine that the percentage where up air knee is, like, minimally small. So, like, anybody that actually falls for it and is in that butterfly yeah. percent probably just, like, didn't jump or didn't air dodge. Yeah, for, for aerial up air knee, 
Uh, it's pretty small for grounded up air knee, which doesn't work on a lot of characters in this game because of the up air hitbox. It's a lot wider. Uh, but, you know, normally Falcons go for an air knee in this game. Right? Ooh, gets a Rebels guard, gets Arsene back. No, can he make the most of it at this point? Yeah, I mean, Roots has been going in against Arsene too, which is like preferable for Joker to deal with. If he's getting these approach, like, if he's dealing with Falcon approaching with Arsene, that's better for him most of the time. So, like, if he can just get a queen pit here and then edge guard him, then it's perfectly fine for him, right? There's those lilac ledges coming through, down tilt I mean, two framing. I mean, that's not even that. It's just that, like, Joker basically has, like, a Falcon. super two frameable recovery. Right. Yeah. yeah it, it's almost like when uh, Smash 4, where the Falcon has his, like, whole hand and arm sticking up above the ledge before he grabbed the ledge. Joker kind of has that, except with, like, the, the, the head or the thing of the Arsene. Like, it's not a hitbox, but, like, it, it's weird, like, whenever he grabs a ledge with Arsene, it's a yeah. lot easier to punish with a two-frame than, like, most other moves. That's why, honestly, in most retrospects, his regular, like, non-Arsene yeah, grappling hook is gra so much better. Right. Very few times where grappling hook is not better, just because the amount of mix-up potential you have on recovery. Grappling recovery is very hard to add guard, and that one, despite being invincible, it's not when you grab ledge, so it's right. not good. It's not even invincible throughout the entire move either, so like you can still like hit it like kind of on yeah. the way up. It's only at the very beginning, which is kind of the most useless part to have it at. Yeah. Because unlike Martha B, for example, like you're not throwing out a hitbox with it, so like they're still there and they can right. still edge guard you. But this is going pretty close for uh, Stratos, so right. if he can just clean up this this coverage, like he's good to go to game three. I mean, yeah. But yet again, you know, Roots, I feel like he's feeling the pressure to get this kill. That's why you see him going for all these upbeat, like, raw. And yet again, all these, like, raw kill moves, and they're just not working, and he just... There we go. Oh, my God. I feel like Roots definitely pulled a win out of his butt right there because Stratos Bebop definitely could have punished any of those upbeats yeah. with a back air. And, like, you saw him, like, try...